Inspired, humbled, choked up. Those are just a few of the emotions on deck from the 12s honoring veterans in the Seahawks Salute to Service pregame celebration at CenturyLink Field. Okay, so you guys are obviously with the U.S. Navy, and you're here to be a part of the Salute to Service. And what's this been like for you? Uh, well, so far it's been an amazing experience. Uh, treat us very well and, you know, get to be on the field and get some food and, and enjoy and see stuff that not everybody else gets to see. Major Weisskopf, this is an exciting time because they're doing a salute to service. And can you talk a little bit about what that is and what that means? We're going to have 45 spouses or Gold Star family members, those who have lost their son or husband at war, um, hold the big American flag while their service member stands behind them to salute the flag. Is there anything else that people should know about the ceremony and what it means to people? I just think it's exciting for the spouses and for the soldiers to be able to be on field before the game. I mean, so many people are Seahawks fans and they just, they really think it's an honor and privilege just to be out on the field before the game. All right, well, thank you for your service. We'll look forward to watching it all unfold. Everybody always think a military person for their service, but to me, I was blessed with a gift of a voice. And that's my way of saying thank you to everyone else, you know I mean, that says thank you to that military person. So to be able to sing and share that gift and continue to share my patriotism even after retirement, uh, bless me. Well, I just heard you and you sounded fantastic, the preview of the national anthem, and I'm sure you're gonna be sending shivers through the crowd today. I I, I've heard that you have your son here who's I also do. in the military. Can we bring him over or? I do, where's he at? Hey, Jimmy. It's great, it's nothing better. And then I get to spend some father-son time at the game, you know, exactly. can't beat it. We, we miss <laughs> Normally the Navy doesn't have, yeah, you know, doesn't a lot of just happen, right? Because yeah. we're always moving around, doing deployments and stuff like that, so we don't get a chance to connect like we like we would like to. Every game we have service members um, on the flag, so um, this is just a little bit different. So the families ask if they can hold the flag. Yeah, yeah the Special Forces Unit, yeah, they, they made a recommendation and, and we were like, yes. Let's do it. Yeah, I heard the preview of the national anthem, and it was just yeah. brought shivers to me. I mean, it's, I think it's going to be a great game. Yeah, 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 yeah it yeah. gave me goosebumps too. It's yeah. amazing. We got a great, great uh, plan for tonight. So the the crew here has been an amazing job throughout the weeks, and we're ready. So we're about to get ready soon here. All right, well, we can't wait. What do you hope that the viewers at home and just in the stands? What what do you hope they're going to be feeling as you, as you're a part of this service? Uh, I think everybody, they have a sense of pride for their country when they see all the service members out on the field. It you know, makes them feel, feel safe that they see all of us out here, they know we're lucky to be home, but there's also you know, tens and thousands of our brothers and sisters overseas fighting and keeping things safe here for everybody at home. So. Well, we really appreciate your service, and thank you so much for taking time. We cannot wait for the festivities to begin. Is there, who's your favorite players? Uh, Russell Wilson. Russell's a solid dude. He's a good guy. He he does a lot of work, charitable work and everything, and you can tell he's just a really awesome individual. So I like seeing him do well. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Have a great day.